this poem is called Where Is My History? And it was commissioned um, by a project going on in Birmingham, um, which was asking this question of the local narratives of history in, in the city. Um, and I chose to respond kind of thinking about this question in, in three senses of where, um, which is maybe just relevant for me to mention before I read it. So the first was thinking about where in terms of within the subject of history, um, where is our history? So thinking about conversations around curriculums, textbooks, documentation, um, and what categories um, of history, you know, whether it's like immigrant history, women's history, British history, global history, where is our history located? Um, the second where was in terms of um, evidence, um, and obviously this is sort of where the museum comes into play. So what kind of artifacts are deemed historical and what are just deemed, you know, a bit of rubbish or scribble on a piece of paper? Um, where are our archives? Um, what happens, you know, for primarily oral cultures and histories? What, what counts as evidence of your existence? Um, and thirdly, where, as in ideologically, um, where is our history deemed as history or is it deemed as kind of alternative um, thought and ideas? So let me just go straight for it. My history is imprinted in the spaces between the ink printed on pressed pages. My history is the screams shouting out through the silent slots in syllabi. It is caged in glass cases said to be for its own safety by the institutions which narrate it as their own. Because my history lies in the choices not recorded about which stories should be hoarded and called archives. And my archives are the chicken shops, the taxi stops, the backseats of rentals, the inside hems of headscarves, women's conversations, women's congregations, women's contemplations, which you won't find in your local heritage site. No, because my history is the shame of your history, the body buried in the back garden with no gravestone, but in fact, not so shameful, no, for it is also adorning your proudest buildings, the ones I'm searched before entering, as if my bringing something in would be disturbing, as if my things weren't already coveted and stolen, sorry, read, salvaged and reallocated to make up these museums in the first place. It's almost as if history is less about what happened than maintaining ideology, because when you investigate a story with half the participants absent and don't worry about the translation, want only to fit the narrative to the nation, then is it surprising that what's surmised is that my history is not, that my past is culture and ancient kingdoms, never politics or philosophy. My ideas are religion and oriental, tribes, norms and alternative remedies whilst yours are universal teleologies and superior methodologies. No, it's no surprise my past is passed over and pushed into the peripheries despite being palpable in every premise of what gives Britain history. Because to find it would be to remember that if Britain is Tudors and Victorians, it is also slavers and plantations, the colonies and the colonized. To find my past would be to remember that every object in the museum that is said to be objectively seen was plundered and stripped of value for the perusal of researchers and big purses to spectate and win awards. Whilst those of us who are still seen as backwards, who don't get the time or space to explore artifacts, are in fact the outcome of their unnarrated relations to colonial plunder and false salvation. So when you ask where my past is, ask instead what yours is without mine. Thank you. <laughs>